place else in the country or in the world where you see a phenomenon like this? Nothing to this magnitude. This is truly unlike anything else that, it does, this doesn't take place anywhere else in the world. And as unique as our Winnebago sturgeon fishery is, so are the stories that the spears tell. So it came up more or less from the bottom and coming up at a decoy and we're in 10 foot of water and I got them about five feet. Perfect shot and I pulled them in. It's pretty exciting. Feels good, first one I ever got. It was all over in a minute and a half. And through the spear and there was no, you couldn't see the fish, it just threw in that direction and luckily we got it because it was so high it didn't decoy or nothing. It's, it was interesting. 9.30ish it came in and then it was like two feet under the ice and it came in and then started going out of the hole and just threw the spear and got it. Nine o'clock in the morning, right underneath the ice, it bumped my spearhead. It came right up to the spearhead, bumped into the spearhead, and done. <laughs> With the boy, it's first time spearing. This is my third year in a row now. Yep. Last year I got one on the last day. Two years ago I was on opening morning, and this year opening morning. And I think that's kind of what keeps people coming back, is that when they do get a fish, it really means something, because it doesn't happen every day, it doesn't happen every year. But I also say with sturgeon spearing, it's just as much of a cultural event and the traditions that keep people coming back. 